The Mouseketeers' heyday was 50 years ago, but their memories of Walt Disney are vivid and steadfast. Walt Disney spent his life creating entertainment for children the world over, but some lucky kids actually got to work alongside him at his Burbank studio. It changed my life. I first learned about giving back to society through the Disney studio, and when I say Disney studio, it's Mr. Disney because he set the tone. Disney's most enduring association with young people came in the 1950s with the creation of the Mickey Mouse Club, a daily television show that made stars out of talented boys and girls who might have lived next door to anyone watching the series. Those cast members have happy memories of their experiences at the studio and of Mr. Disney himself. My official entrance into the Mouseketeer Club, Annette came up and kissed me on the forehead. Becoming a Mouseketeer will probably be an event that will never be topped in my life as far as perception of, you know, amazing. We were all a little bit in, in awe of him. Wasn't that terror kind of awe, do you know? It was, a, it was a loving respect out of kindness in the way he treated us always. Most importantly, these young performers felt at home at the Disney studio. He provided well for our parents, to places for them to be. Oftentimes, parents would be stuck in the back of a sound stage. He provided for it in the theater oh, lounge, like and they could go in and watch all of the different shows that were being edited and filmed. It was a wonderful, wonderful environment. It was a protected and safe environment. And he was tolerant of his kids, you know. He wasn't of disrespect, but of kids' annex and stuff. You know, sometimes you get a group of kids together, I don't care how professional, you know. We'd hide sometimes and go play tag in the tunnels under the studio. And of course, we always took a net with us. <laughs> we figured we were safe if we had a net with us. One best experience, you know. And, but the opportunity that he gave us, how could we not love him? and want to honor his memory forever.